The National Weather Service now says it was a small tornado that caused some of the damage in and around Park Rapids on Monday night. The Weather Service says after surveying the scene, it's apparent that a microburst accompanied by an EF1 tornado with wind speeds of up to 105 miles per hour caused the damage. Officials believe this tornado was an EF1 at points and at other points was an EF0 carrying winds closer to 80 to 85 miles per hour. The first sign of touchdown was at 10.30 p.m. about five miles southwest of Park Rapids where a prefabricated home was destroyed. The tornado continued to the northeast, touching down periodically as it moved into the west side of Park Rapids. Several agricultural irrigators were overturned along the path of the tornado and it damaged, it damaged a home about 3.5 miles southwest of Park Rapids. Based on eyewitness accounts, the tornado moved through the western portion of Park Rapids at 10.38 p.m. Damage was noted at the Hubbard County Fairgrounds, where the roof from the grandstand was lofted approximately 150 yards east, severely damaging a residential home and a vehicle parked there. The tornado weakened as it continued northeast, causing damage to docks and a pontoon boat on the east end of Fishhook Lake. The tornado lifted at that point to briefly touch down about three miles northeast of Park Rapids between 10.40 p.m. and 10.50 p.m. A microburst accompanied the tornado, causing a significant amount of damage up to one mile to the east of the tornado track. Numerous trees and structures were damaged, particularly in the city of Park Rapids, and volunteers are needed for cleanup. We're going to need lots of help. People aren't going to be able to do this just on their own. Wadena went through a similar but far worse experience last year, and they uh, set up a program of trying to get people who were coming to volunteer or uh, contractors who were maybe going to help with um, roofing or whatever uh, reconstruction that they would register at the city hall. Okay. So we want people to come in. We'd like to just kind of monitor who's sure. out there. We're not going to make recommendations, but if people call in, they're needing assistance, they could call city hall and we will be developing a list that they could contact people then to give them some help. Meanwhile, the weather agency also says there was recently a tornado in Lake County for the first time in nearly 20 years. The tornado was spotted Saturday afternoon about 16 miles west of Silver Bay. That area is sparsely populated and it's mostly forest land. The storm uprooted trees and snapped tree limbs along a nearly two-mile path in Superior National Forest.